Hello everybody, this is Daryl Passing Lane Motors and today I want to show you our 1976 Trans Am. Right now all these Trans Ams are absolutely going through the roof. Uh, this is a Gen 2 Trans Am and they did a really nice job on this one. Um, the car is originally a 455 four speed AC car. I've got to apologize for it. Let's start off right, tell you from the beginning, it's a 350 four speed air conditioning is not working. So we do have the car priced accordingly. The car is in great shape. It is a Southern car. We drove this car up from Arkansas. Uh, the car is in fabulous shape. It is rust free. We don't find any rust around the whole car. It has all original interior in it. it has its original honeycomb wheels. Honeycomb wheels are in really good shape. Uh, they could use to be sanded down and repainted if somebody wanted to make them really pristine. Uh, the paint job on the car is really nice. I'm not saying it's going to win any shows, but it is a really nice paint job. Obviously, the car has been repainted. Uh, the bird on the hood is really good. It has a 6.6 .6 hood scoop. Would have been a 7.2 or, or would have been a uh, Trans Am uh, HD, I guess they'd have called them. I may be wrong on that. I'm sure I'll get some nasty email from guys off of YouTube, but it uh, uh, has correct exhaust on it, beautiful interior. All the gauges work in it. It's got factory tack, uh, factory, uh, the tack works, the speedometer works. There is an aftermarket uh, gauges under the dash for temperature and battery. Uh, the paint on the car, I said, is, like I said, is really nice. Uh, the hood is really nice. It has a new windshield in it, new hood latches on the car. The car drives phenomenal. Uh, the interior is missing a couple little pieces, and we may look at getting into those. Uh, it needs the little uh, seat belt clips here. I'll take you right up and show you those right now. Uh, the little seat belt holders that go right here that hold this belt right there, they're missing. Um, it is power windows, power brakes. Uh, it has, doesn't have a radio in it that works, has a radio in the dash, but that, that's not operable. Uh, but the blower works. It was an AC car, so it would be nice to put AC back in this car. But a super, super rare, real 455 four-speed car. All the 455s were four-speeds, so that doesn't make it rare. But the fact that it was the 76 is the last year of the 455. Tilt wheel, power windows, rear defrost. Has a super nice running engine in it now. It really runs well. Uh, the block does say 350 on it. Of course, Pontiac blocks are all identical, so you never know the difference between whether this was a real 455 block or a 350 block, but it is, it is a real 455 car. We'll, we'll include the VIN and the trim tag information. Um, let me go ahead and start it up. The car runs and drives great. I drove this car back. The headlight, or the dome light, excuse me, the dome light works. The seats are all original. The console is original in this car. The door panels are in really nice shape. It is missing these little covers that go over the pull handles right here. It does have tilt steering. Uh, the car, I don't know what it's showing here. Um, let's go ahead. Thought I had the keys to it. Making a liar out of me. I don't have the keys to it, <laughs> so hang on a minute. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll finish this up here. It does have a little crack. This is an original dash from right here to right here. Has a little crack that way in the dash. Uh, the headliner does need to be put in the car or replaced. This has got the old factory gluing stuff underneath here. Uh, the carpet is in really good shape. There is a little thin spot underneath this uh, floor mat right here but other than that it looks original also emergency brake does work on this car this is the switch right here for the rear defrost um, i'm assuming that the rear defrost does work also the dome light in here works does have the sun visor still in here uh, the tires on this car are brand new we put new tires on it uh, it has um, uh, new tires power disc brakes what else we do oh new power steering pump a uh, new windshield, new hood hinges. Nancy, are you down here? Can you grab me the keys of this Trans Am? Um, the rest of the car is in absolutely outstanding shape. I will show you a couple little things though. On this very, on this front bumper, the front bumper's got a little bit of a gap on this side. And then this is the gap. These are all original ground effects. There's a little gap here in the ground effects. But as we go over here, you'll see that this Enduro bumper overlaps on this side uh, the ground effects on this side are a lot nicer 
but uh, the ground effects on that side do gap just a little bit. Car seems to have not had a lot of work done to it. I do have a video of the undercarriage of the car. The pans are really solid in the car. I do believe there is a patch on there. I'll have to pull that video back up. But uh, the pans are really nice under the car. The trunk is really in great shape. Does have its original spare in there, which is the blow up one with the can of air that comes with it. So that's all original in the car too. So um, if, if there's any more questions you have on the car, please call us. It's Passing Lane Motors. 636-600-1140. I'll do a test drive video of the car so you can see, hear it run. Since I don't have the keys right now, we'll get it running. Um, that way you can hear it run and uh, we'll take it out and test drive it. Hang on, let me see if I have the keys in the trunk. Because I had the trunk open just a minute ago. Nope, they're not there. Sorry about that. Anyway, we'll shoot a, we'll get a video of the trunk and of the car running. A uh, really nice, real 76 Trans Am, 455, four speed, power windows, tilt wheel, rear defrost, uh, correct exhaust, give us a call, it's a beautiful car, 1976 real 455 car, doesn't have a 455 in it now, but what a great um, foundation to do a complete restoration on a car, the bird is beautiful, all the decals are gorgeous, call us 636-600-1140, 1976 455 Trans Am with air, thanks so much and have a great day, bye now.